Um, put, maybe put the, the neck up. If it's warm, I mean, if it's warm. I mean, you, you look kind of older in it. You look like a model. But you don't like, look like you. Do you want to look at the mirror? No, I don't look at that. Is it weird? Is it weird? No. Come on, you guys, run to the vlog. Holding. You got Facebook to check out, yeah? Never. <laughs> uh, guys, it is Friday. Um, it's very nice and sunny at the minute, but it's been raining all morning, so I'm not at work. I did a little bit this morning. Stacey's been to work, both back. Um, yeah, and then it's now, it's Friday. So we've got some big plans, to be fair. We've got a parcel to deliver. We have, sold the PlayStation. What else are we doing? I'm, I feel like we've got so much on that I can't think of any of it. We're going to go to Home Morgan to get a shower head for we are. a shower. We are, so that we can finally start bathing properly. <laughs> we, uh, I feel like I haven't bathed properly in ages. I'm the same, just like little showers here and there. And I want a have, nice deep shower. They've not been very um, timed with, you know what I mean? Like they've had to be whenever I have. Yeah, exactly. You can't plan to have a shower. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get some flooring for the bathroom as well, man, which I really want to get because I want the bathroom done. But, yeah. Mm. No. What? You've gone wrong. Oh, crap. I keep doing this there. I keep going to the wrong place. I've got to drop this bleeding parcel off. We're also, I've got to pop to the bank and do my usual banking, but also bank a £200 check from the solicitors that I told you about. So I'm happy about that. I need some money out as well. Money. Fair. Money. And then, um, what was I going to say? And then I'm doing painting as well in a bit, but I'm going to go oh. to the gym. So go on. Home bargains. I wonder if they do vinyl flooring. Yeah. Is thingy one. Honestly, I've, I've passed, I'm past the point of caring what the vinyl flooring looks like. Yeah. I just want to get whatever. I don't want to spend fifty quid on a floor though. Yeah, just because it looks nice. Like, do you want to run in? No, I do not. You ain't got much choice. Another thing we're going to do today that I forgot to say. Look at this lighting. Isn't it grand? Isn't it grand? Do I want to look weird with that cap as well? I've stopped wearing it so much because I want to try and let my head air, as stupid as that sounds. But I know some people end up actually like losing hair and their skin goes all horrible from wearing caps all the time. Um, so I've started... Yeah, sorry, Stacey's coming. Oh, it's locked. So I've started wearing it less. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for lunch at the deli. The French deli. You remember last week we went to the French Connection? Well, this week we're going to the French deli. So, uh, oh. Well, that's as long as it's not like really expensive, like eight quid for a sandwich or something. Yeah, I just want... like. You know what I want? I want a fresh egg baguette. You that don't would be do fire. That anyway, they don't, man. No shops. They used to do. They used to be like seven bakeries around Wollaston and Starbridge, which is where we live, the town and the village. Now there's one bakery, if you can call it that, because it's a Greg's, and Greg's don't do like fresh egg baguettes. They do egg sandwiches, but that ain't the same as a nice warm egg baguette, man. Really not so I'm hoping one. that this French deli does it. Me and my oh granddad God. used to love having the one in the Wilson Bakery. Yeah, that, I used to like that. It was yeah. nice, yeah. And even Spa used to do one for a bit and they've stopped doing a, an egg baguette. They just do egg sandwiches, which just ain't the same. Everyone needs to learn that an egg sandwich ain't the same as an egg baguette. It's not. It's not. You know, my nan used to give me a pound in those days so I could go to the bakery before school for a donut. No, sorry, it was a nice bun. Was it? It was a nice bun, yeah. Lovely. So nice. And they're like... Or something, they're really cheap. It must have been cheap. I remember getting sweets after school with my mum from the little garage, and we'd just get like I think it was 20p for like a um, they were 10p each actually, the big cola bottles. Yeah, we'd just get like two of those or something. Oh my god, Ooh, we used to have an ice cream van come into our high school we and park there yeah. for lunch. Used to park on the playground, like that was only in year seven because then they brought in these new rules, um, so that you had to park a certain distance away from the school, and they got Jamie more and more as we stayed there. Yeah, Jamie Oliver ruined that for us, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so then he, he parked like right next to the school and the school was on like this long road and then by the end of when we left he was having to park right down the bottom of it mm -hmm. and I think they were trying to stop him from parking on that road at all which is like a shame I know but we good. loved it, I well, it good, yeah. but we it, well I used to eat loads of sweets from him like you know what I mean and if he was on the playground at lunchtime I'd have spent all my lunch when oh, I had ice cream that's what I'm saying like if he was there, I'd definitely have ate loads more sweets nearly every day. So it is a good good thing that he... That... The bonbons. Do you yes. remember the bonbons? And the cables. Do you remember the cables? Oh, my God. 20p oh, cables. man. Oh, we're probably bringing yeah. back a lot of nostalgia to people <laughs> who were in school the same time as us. We were part of the Jamie Oliver revolution in primary school as well, weren't we? Yeah, so we saw Turkey Twizzlers for a few years. Oh, God. And on the drumsticks. They were I just shaped like drumsticks. No, I bet they don't anymore. I was going to say, I think they probably still do drumsticks, but I bet they don't. In high school, it was all... So it was horrible, horrible food. Mm. Pasta King. Who remembers Pasta King? Oh my god. 
Yeah, and they used to have like a jacket potato thing. That as. was that was that nice. was, that was, that was like actually a big potato cooking thing, yeah. and then they brought in past the king as well. But these foods were expensive, man. I couldn't afford flap them. Flapjack, did you hear about the flap? Oh, the puddings. The puddings were quite good. Like oh. I, was, I, I had packed lunches most of the time though. Which again yeah. is a good thing because I'd have just spent it all on like puddings and I stuff and bad right, foods. Though. Did you? Oh, was that? Yeah, I was at lunch and then I'd go oh, home and have God. a second dinner before tea. Did you? Yeah, oh, that's how I got so that. fat when I was young, man. Oh. I'd just eat many meals. Okay, I've just cut, cut a clip out because we're whispering about it. But I was saying that I think a lot of what we were just saying is probably not good vlog quality content because it's specific to our school. But I guess it could be quite a universal English school thing, like the ice cream men and the types of food. So let us know in the comments if it was or whether we've just bored you to death with our... We can't be the only school that had an ice cream van. Yeah, but like, I don't know, man. An ice cream van in the school and pasta king and that potato thing i don't know do you think all schools have this well it'll be interesting to find out what other schools have it would to be fair yeah it would i don't remember any other food they used to do. i remember they used to do pizza every now and again but i didn't eat enough of it but i'm gonna i'm gonna end this clip here <laughs> because this is we've already been chatting for nearly six minutes i don't know how to pour the sugar without ruining the top mm. i'm just doing a really art here we go, here we go. Mm. We've got a chicken and mayo and cheese panini, and you've got all that looks like epic. Fresh egg. Fresh egg. Oh. It's cool. It's good. It's good. Oh. That's cool. That's fine. <laughs> so, this is the craziest thing I think I've ever found in charity shop. What, what is it? What is it? Well, he's clearly a vase with feet holding his bag open. I mean, like, what? Is he holding what? it open like? Do oh. you know what I mean? Oh, I don't know. Why would you be doing that? Where's it from? Awesome. How much is it? I wouldn't know, is it? Far too much. Pound. <laughs> Jeez. He's going to buy that. Oh, I like that. Oh, I've got a pair yeah. show. Have you? Yeah, that's cute. This is still here, guys. I really want this. But Jeremy want that. Where would you put that and what would you use it for? Is that a repro lid as well? Or is that original? <laughs> Did you know you could get Elf on a Shelf Little Birthday costume? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I did not know. Elf on the shelf, a birthday tradition. Does it even? It doesn't have the elf. It, elf, it just has the costume. And the book. That's the book. Yeah, it doesn't have the actual elf. <laughs> okay. Look at this. We don't know what it is, but it's ninety-five quid. Is it not? I thought it was a piano. What? What? I'm being stupid that this does look like a piano, doesn't it? I mean. It's not the thing. Not. What is it? It's, it's very grand. Back in the flat, you guys. Um, what happened in town? I can't even remember. We went and had a look at showers in uh, Showerheads in her bargains. They didn't have any there. And then we went and looked in Wilco and they didn't have any good ones, man. Um, we, don't, we don't know what we even want to do with it, you see, with Showerheads. Because this is what we've got at the minute. The shower's in there and it's a bit broke. That's why we got to move it. And uh, this isn't high enough, basically. It's like it's gonna be aiming right at your chest instead of your head, and we don't know what to do because like how can we put it up here? And really, we want to have it like above, but we can't because there's pipes and there's things. I don't know, man. We need to think about it, and we don't want to be screwing new walls particularly, but we might have to. So we're gonna to have to make some decisions here about what we do with this shower. And then floor-wise, you know what we did actually? We popped in a little shop that I didn't even know existed next to a charity shop, and they do flooring. And I'd seen it before and just kind of, you know how you just block it mentally because it's just something you think you're never going to need. Anyway, we went in and they do all carpets and things. So we had a look at some of their offcuts for putting in the bedroom, you know, where we've had the plastering done. We've got a strip that needs a bit of carpet. So we're going to get an offcut of them, we think. It's not too expensive. And oh, look at that, they can see yourself. How are you doing? Hello, hello. And uh, we looked at their laminates and my oh, gosh, some of them are nice. Where's, where's that book stays? By the front door. So we got this book off them. It's quite posh. What we saw. So this is the book. Um, and here's the one that we decided that we liked a lot. Where is it? There, look at that. Flick straight to it. How nice is that, man? This is, it's textured as well. So it's like, feels a bit rough under your feet. Be nice. 
This is 18 pound a square meter, um, and from the measurements, we're literally 10 centimeters over, which is about this big, over needing two meters in length, so we'd have to buy three, I think. <sighs> buy, and it's like one and a half wide, the bathroom. So, yeah, one and a half wide, and then three, if we wanted to go all the way to here, we'd need, obviously we don't need three, we need 2.1, which is annoying. So we're gonna to speak to them tomorrow and see if they can somehow get us a roll that is, they said the rolls come in like, put by the meter. Whether they can get it a little bit longer for us, we don't know, we'll have to find out. But then the bathroom's coming together, I'm gonna to paint this in a minute, like I said. Bit of painting. Well, Stacey goes out, she's having a girly night out, a few drinks, she's going out for an Indian. Jamie Cow, I'm staying in and having cottage cheese on a jacket potato. That's still gonna be fun. Leave me, are ya? Sorry. Oh dear, buddy. Okay, all done another coat. To be honest, it looks like it wants another coat on the actual ceiling bit. Don't know, man. Can't decide yet. I'm gonna wait to see how this dries. And see, it's gonna need another one, I think. Well, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. But then again, I'm gonna be painting tomorrow anyway. Because now I'm about to paint in here. All that over there. And that's probably gonna need two coats anyway. So let's just see how we get on. Little ginger plan. Got to take Stacey out now, and also went through the whole box of paintbrushes we've got, but I haven't got like a big roller. I've got a few little ones, uh, none that would go on What's all this? the skeleton of it. Oh, that's all clean clothes that I brought around. I need to take the basket home, by the way, my mum will bat me. <laughs> Gotta take that. Um, so, yeah, so I'm gonna take Stacey out now, and I'm gonna pop somewhere and see if I can get a roller and come back and just blast that. Because if I do it with the paintbrush, it's gonna take me like hours. So I'm gonna get a roller. The and I'm gonna get a coffee. Finish. I'm gonna drink my beer, do a coffee. Fab stuff. Guys, I'm back in the flat. Left for about an hour and 10 or 20 minutes or something. It took me friggin' ages. I dropped Stacey off at a mate's. And then I went 10 minutes out of the way to go to the game shop, because you know I said I was gonna get that master system tested. <sighs> went to the game shop, he closed like half an hour early, at least, because I was half an hour before closing time and it was shut. So that was a bit of a waste. But then uh, I did pass a big Tesco, so I popped in, got that. I got my coffee, there was a Costa in there, which was absolutely pucker. Um, so now I can just crack on, but to be honest, I'm probably gonna have to go pick those up within about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna do as much as I can. I'm gonna do the right hand side in this stuff, this damp seal stuff, and then the rest of it, I'm just doing it plain on Magnolia. So that can stay there, and I'm gonna go over there. guys I don't know if you can really tell from here it's very wide very magnolia um, I need to do another coat clearly it's very thin but I think that'll look good when it's uh, had a couple of coats on it blending quite nicely over there you know it's gonna look a bit of a mess can you see can you tell but yeah I need to go I need to have a wash man I'm all I'm coated in it all over I've, I'm luckily I didn't get it on any of this stuff don't know how it didn't flick even when I was doing the ceiling like but now I need to wash these brushes. I wanted a shower tonight because I've been to the gym and haven't showered, but that shower's just so horrible to use at the minute. I might just wait until the morning and then I'll have it at my parents' house. I need to go and get Stacey whenever she rings me too. I still haven't had tea. I'll go to my tea. I don't even know. What time is it? You know what I've been listening to, you guys? It's only quarter past eight. I've done so much today, honestly. It could be 11 o'clock and I believe you. What I've been... I've been wearing uh, ear pods at work. You know, like the wireless earphones. Not official ones because I'm not rich. I've got these cheap... Uh, 20 odd pound ones. I might even need less than that, they're off Amazon. And I've just been listening to so many podcasts. Um, recommendations, guys, I could do with some. Let me know of any good podcasts. Ones I've been listening to, I love Joe Rogan. I've been listening to like, just like so many of his over the past few months. I've just listened to loads. Um, Stuff You Should Know is a great one that my mum put me onto a few years ago. I've been like listening to Dribs and Drabs them. And then the past week, I've listened to maybe like 30 or 40 Stuff You Should Know podcasts. 
Who else? Mark Maron has got a great one. Um, and a couple of the ones that I can't remember their names. But yeah, put me onto some good ones, guys. I like some comedy ones. I like some informative ones. Yeah, just anything entertaining. I don't know what type of paint this is that I've used on here. But Jesus Christ, was it hard to have my hands. It's been like an hour and a half or something, so it's drying quite nicely there. Two co three coats would be really good. Two coats might do. We're covering mostly anyway. God, honestly, I was washing the brushes. I couldn't even clean that new um, roller. I'm gonna have to chuck the rolly bit away so I can keep the frame. I've got loads of rolly pads. Like this is another old one, but I didn't have this handle. That's the old one, so it didn't fit. Because it was just stuck to it, man, this paint just wouldn't wash off like, and it was all stuck to my hands so bad. <laughs> I've been sat on the sofa, just like huddled to make sure I don't get it on anything off my clothes. Anyway, I'm gonna go pick Stacey up now. Is this all good? Can I leave the flat? I can leave. Nothing's open, no windows. This is the thing now, Stacey's not here, and I'm like, have I got to check anything? No, I'm good to go. Alright, let's roll. Let's rock. And let's roll, guys.